hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding jumping to our player game so for that first of all click on the animator and right here we need to create two bools the first one will be is jumping and the second one will be is grounded then we need to add the animation so in the main locomotion pack let's search for jumping okay right here we have this jump so just drag and drop it in here okay and if you play it as you can see this is the jumping animation okay now make a transition from jumping to falling select that transition remove the as exact time and right here make the is grounded false so when the is grounded is false it means that the player is in the air okay not on the ground so the player will just simply start falling like that okay and actually we need to trim this animation as well so if you play the animation as you can see we just need this animation okay not the half of it we don't need the half of it we just want that when the player is in the air like that that's it okay somewhere right here on 33 yes 33 will be a good value for it so now if we select it as you can see the player will be in the air then falling that's it and after this transition make a transition to the new state and right here remove that and this time when the is grounded is true it means the player is on the ground then we will just simply start playing the locomotions animations okay that's it then we need to set up a button for this so in the scripts folder open up the player controls folder and then open up the player controls let me try and drop it right here click on player actions and now we're going to add another action so click on the plus sign let's name this as jump okay and in the binding the first button will be the keyboard space button so select that and for the controller we're gonna add the button south okay so add another binding and right here search for south and it will give you this south uh, button south gamepad okay select the first one that's it and if you want to select some other button then you can do that as well then click on cross sign then click on save after that go ahead and open up your input manager script because we now need to read this uh, input so right here let's first of all make a header name this as input button flag or just flag okay so right here we're gonna say public pool jump input then right here we're gonna say the exact same thing as we did for the b input so i'm just gonna copy and paste that line right here so player controls dot player actions dot jump dot perform and right here we just gonna say jump input that's it and for the jump in input we don't have to add the cancelled because as you know that when we press the space button it will just only happen once okay and that's all now if you scroll down right here let's create a method which will be by the name of handle jumping input and in this I'm gonna say if the jump input is pressed then jump input will be equals to false and right here we're gonna call the handle jumping method so 
for now let's leave this as it is and open up the player movement script let's scroll up right here let's add a header name this as jump variables the first one will be of type float so we're gonna say public float jump height this is gonna be equals to four after this we're gonna create another float which will be by the name of gravity intensity this will be equals to minus 15 after this we will create handle jump but before creating that method we need to set this is jumping to false okay so right here on the jump animation click on add behavior new script let's name this as reset is jumping let's open this up okay and on state exact where is it right here okay we will uncomment that and right here we just simply gonna say animator dot set pool is jumping okay let's set this to false that's it now get back right here okay we have the variables now let's create a method so we gonna say public void handle jumping okay we will say if is grounded is true then we will allow the player to jump so we're gonna say animator manager dot animator dot set pool let's set the is jumping pool to true okay after that we're gonna say animator manager dot play target anim let's pass the jump animation name to it and then pass false to the is interacting because when the player is jumping we don't want the player to move around and let's check the animation name as you can see it is jump so this should be jump as well okay and on the animator manager make sure that you make this animator public okay because we are uh, using the animator right here so it should be public now we will create a float by the name of jumping velocity and this is going to be equals to mathf dot square root we're going to say minus 2 multiply that by the gravity intensity and multiply that again by the jump height okay so this will move our player up in the air according to the jump height okay then we're gonna say vector 3 player velocity okay name this as player velocity this is gonna be equals to the move direction then player velocity dot y will be equals to jumping velocity and then player rigid body dot velocity will be equals to the player velocity okay then we will set the is jumping bool of the script to false and after this we're gonna create one more method which will be set is jumping it will be needing a bool as a parameter and in here we just simply gonna say this dot is jumping will be equals to is jumping okay 
now let me explain what we are doing in the handle jumping so first of all right here we check if the player is grounded before allowing a jump action okay then right here we set the set the is jumping parameter in the animator to true to trigger the jumping animation okay then in this line we play the jump animation using the animator manager dot play target animation method okay then right here we calculate the initial uh, vertical velocity which is this jumping velocity using physics formula for vertical motion under gravity okay which is this formula math f dot square root we pass minus 2 and we multiply that by the gravity intensity and also the jump height then right here what we did is we update the player rigid body velocity which is player rigid body dot velocity to initiate the jump with the calculated vertical velocity okay and then after that we set the is jumping to false to indicate that the player is no longer in a jumping state after initiating the jump then in this method which is the set is jumping right here we just simply update the is jumping flag based on the boolean parameter passed to the method okay and that's it for this okay and in the previous video i think i forgot to explain the handle falling and landing method so let me break this down as well okay this whole method so let's start from this okay as you know that this recast head type variable hit store information about the object hit by the sphere cast okay then right here this raycast origin represents the origin point for the sphere cast adjusted vertically by the raycast height offset after this we have this target position this basically store the target position for the player okay then we check if the player is not grounded and also we have added jumping so we will now also be saying if the player is not jumping okay so if that is the case then we play the falling animation using animator manager dot play target anim if the player is not interacting with object okay or you can say not moving on the ground or anything after that we increase the uh, in air timer based on time dot delta time after that we applies forces which is leaping velocity first of all so leaping velocity forward force and uh, falling velocity multiply by in air time which is the downward force to simulate falling using player rigid body dot add force so this basically creates a falling physics okay after that we use this physics dot check sphere to check for the ground collision beneath the player within a radius of 0 0.3 and against the ground layer okay after that we play the landing animation using animator manager dot play target anim method and also we check if the player is not grounded and not interacting with any object okay after that we adjust the target position vertically to match the head point from the sphere cast and we reset the in air timer okay then after that we set the is grounded flag to true if the sphere cards hit the ground otherwise we set it to false okay so this was all about the handle falling and landing method now we have also added jumping so now let's set this up as well get back to the input manager uh, script and as you know that on the player movement now we have a method for jumping so we're gonna say player 
movement dot handle jumping okay and now whenever we press the jump it input it will play this handle jumping method after this let's open up the player manager and right here in the late update what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say player movement dot is jumping is equals to animator dot get pool we want to get the is jumping pool so get that from there and then we're gonna say animator dot set pool we want to set the is grounded pool to the player movement dot is grounded pool okay so if uh, on the player movement script the is grounded is true then in the animator is grounded will be true and if it is false it will also be false as well after this now we need to do one last thing is right here as you know we leave a comment for is jumping so we're gonna set this up now so if the player is not grounded and is not jumping okay and also right after this else condition we are now gonna add one more condition in which we're gonna say if the player is grounded and if the player is not jumping okay so if this is the case then what we're gonna do we're gonna say if player manager dot is interacting or input manager dot move amount is greater than zero then what we're gonna do in this case we're gonna set the transform dot position which is the player position to vector 3 dot lerp transform dot position then we're gonna pass the target position and then we're gonna say time dot delta time and then we're gonna say 0 0.1 f okay and in the else we are gonna say that the position of the player will be equals to the target position after this in the handle rotation when the player is jumping we don't want the player to rotate okay so let's set the is jumping if that is the case then simply return from there and don't rotate that's it and we can add the same thing on the handle movement method as well if you want you can just simply type this right here like this okay but i prefer to do it in the method so it's your own choice now let's save the script and get back right here as you know we have these seven errors so let's start from the first one player movement 60 and 92 there is the same error so right here it shows that we don't have the s jumping because we didn't add it as jumping okay so make sure that you add is jumping at the top in the movement flags and when you do that all of the errors will be gone okay and we can now test it out right here guys on this transition make sure that you add is grounded true okay because when it is true we're gonna land i've moved down the player back to the ground so that we can see how does it looks now so here is the player now as you can see the player is shaking and if we press the jump button as you can see jumps gets equals to true but no animation is playing as you can see okay and this is because in the handle jumping method this method is not called anywhere and of course if it is not called anywhere then the handle jumping will not be called okay 
and also I have added this line so make sure that you add this line as well to this method okay this is the only change I have did and also copy this method name and make sure that you put it right there in the handle all inputs that's it and after that let's play the game again to see if it works now or not okay so as you can see the player is on the ground okay so the player is jumping but not fully in the air let me increase this let's increase this to 35 so the player gets stuck in the air as you can see ok the player is getting stuck and also the player is performing this shaking thing I don't know why let's turn on the gizmos alright Okay, that doesn't work. Now if we perform it, okay. So now as you can see the jumping is fixed. Just remove the as exact time from this uh, transition. Okay, and now as you can see the player jumps back to the ground perfectly fine. But if you notice there is this vibration in the player body. So we need to stop this.